Dude, I don't think I can pop up onto that ledge. We're gonna roll. Holy crap. Lifting back tire. Oh my heck. What's going on? RC Hobbyist, thank you so much for dropping in to another episode of Hobby Drop. Today, we've got an upgrade and we're gonna finish out Cliff's Edge. All right, so there you have it. We've got the Injora, Enora, Injora. <laughs> I don't know. We've got some uh, portal cover weight things here. And uh, these bad boys are like 82 grams a piece. So we've got some good weight going on and uh, let's see how well they do. That's why we have these bad boys right there. This took me five, probably five to ten minutes to get up last time. This time, it ain't no thing. That was even a struggle. I ran it off camera first and did it easier than that. So you saw the uh, less smooth version. All right, so you guys saw the struggle in the last video of this part, so I want to hit it again with the new weights and show you the difference. So still need a little throttle up right there, but then check this out. So we're gonna work our way over to this little ridge, get our back tires hooked a little bit, and then because of all this weight up front, we're actually able to get a better bite right here. So now I'm just trying to work my front tire over. That was my grab point, we missed it, let's try again. Okay, we're up high. Just wanna work that front driver, there it is. Okay. So you guys are seeing the time that I've spent into this obstacle right now. That was less than a minute. And I spent probably another 10 minutes trying to get to this point in the last video. And I, I cropped some of that out so you didn't have to watch it all. But let's keep working up this ridge. And... Uh, then we will move into the uncharted territory. We'll move into the uncharted territory with the G-Speed. There we go, dude. These weights are, are killing it. Let's catch up to the truck. Okay, so we're gonna swing around this little pop out in the rock. Right here, try to avoid the rollover, there we go, nice and easy there. The weights up front really allowing the suspension to work without flipping us over. We're going to start working our way back up the mountainside. Start working our way into 
the cliff's edge. Here we go, truck is going vert. Let's catch up. So here's where we're entering into the real risk of this trail. I'm questioning I'm questioning the G-Speed's turning abilities here and if those are going to give us too much trouble. Get a better angle at what's going on over here. So I do feel like the trenchers want to hook up better than these Hyraxes. Just when I come out here with other rigs, whoo, scared myself. The trenchers just seem to grab better, but we'll get it, we'll get it. Let's just work it. Those weights up front doing a ton for us right now to get the traction. To get us up and over. We got a lot of body to drag up over ledges and those weights are helping a ton. What do you guys think about these brass weights? 82 grams each side ton of weight i'm loving them what do you guys run in the front of your rigs uh let me know in the comments because i think these things are pretty cool and uh working pretty dang good obviously more runs more time will tell but let me know what are you guys running up front cliff said y'all this is what it's about right here and this is where the this is where the fun's up. Yeah, look at that. Look at that tire just wrapping up over that. It's awesome. So we're headed into a sharp turn here. So we'll take our, our backups. This 14 inch wheelbase ain't a comp rig, that's for sure. At least not without rear steer. So we've got something kind of cool going on. So this back hire's tire is completely hooked under there. But because of two things. One, our awesome weights. And two, overdrive. We're able to just throttle through this. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> Look at this. See, able to just throttle through it and it pops that up and over. No, no big deal. <clears throat> Pretty cool. Okay, now we're getting into the scary stuff. I got a fly on my hand. Okay, I'm gonna reposition here, try and not fall off. All right, so you can see we're right on the edge of this cliff and it falls down. That's why we got the name Cliff's Edge out of here. So, guys, I don't even know where to put my feet. All right, let's do it. So we've got this, this ledge right here that just pushes us off. But because the turning radius is so poor, we're gonna have to really lean into this and put our tires way up here. Let's see if, if uh, we can do it. OK, 
Okay, our rear tire's going up as well. Oh my gosh. Okay, turning radius is bad. We're turning back downhill. Taking a reverse. Oh my gosh. Dang. Okay. We're going to have to really embrace this ledge. That's all the steering I have. I don't know if it's servo. Man, guys. I want to get past this. Dude, I don't think I can pop up onto that ledge. We're gonna roll. Holy crap. Lifting back tire. Oh my heck, we're not out of it. We're not out of it. Yo, you guys, okay. I gotta be in catch position here. We're gonna straighten out and start to come downhill. Rears are sliding out on us. Oh my gosh. Tires barely touching. All right, come on. I'm gonna try and get that rear to fall off of the edge. Oh, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap. Whoo! <laughs> that got my heart pumping. I'm not gonna lie. That was that was kind of terrifying. I really I can't afford to drop the truck off of here. Whew. We're almost there. Let's finish it out. So the rest of this trail, we are almost there. We're gonna drive up here for funsies. Hit a little side hill that was kind of scarier than I thought it was gonna be. Got the great view. Take a back up. Let's see if we can fight this big old ledge right here. It'll be kind of fun. Dude, I am seeing, and my suspension setup is not good. Like, let's just be upfront about that. But, uh, the weight up front helps to kind of force the suspension to do good things. Come on, forward weight bias. Got it done. Fun bonus climb. There you have it, guys. We made it to the top. 14 inch wheelbase G-Speed V3 getting the job done. A little terrifying, but it made it. So now it's just the Capra that has not made this climb yet. 
we're gonna have to try it again i just got some new inserts for that capra and we'll have to try it out but uh guys thank you so much for watching this part two if you haven't seen part one yet go check it out because we had a really good examples of the benefits of these brass weights and uh you guys are great stick around for the next video and uh subscribe if you're still here thanks guys